Here's Brock Bowers. Uh, I was hanging out with Rob Gronkowski, tweet from Phil, at Phil A. Perry. Um, Brock Bowers kind of anointed as the next, uh, I'm not sure you want to call anyone the next Rob Gronkowski. Let's but say George is. Kittle. Okay, yeah, next George Kittle, friend of the show. I like it. Um, sure. You mentioned how the Giants would be a great landing spot. Is there anywhere else for Brock Bowers? Um, perhaps further down, or he might be more likely I mean, to go. you could stay in New York with the Jets. He'd be the number two wide receiver, <laughs> in theory, in targets for the Jets. <sighs> right Cut to away. Tyler Conklin. What did I do <laughs> wrong? Yeah, <laughs> Tyler Conklin's slander will not be tolerated <laughs> yeah, on this exactly. show. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Yeah, you look at the Jets. I mean, he's, he's the player I hear the most associated with some trade-ups. Okay. Like, you could see a team come up for him and be like, yeah, he's, just too, he's one of the best players in the draft. We'll go get him. You know, whether that was going to be the Bengals would probably be my favorite fit. I imagine T. Higgins, Jamar Chase, and Brock Bowers with Joe Burrow. Do you, think if, do, you think if, do you think if Bowers gets drafted by the Jets, Rodgers turns to Bowers and says, like, hey, why don't you introduce a Randall Cobb? Learn how to play in the middle of the field. From, we're going to be they bring Mercedes Lewis in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's the play. Be. That'll be Mercedes Lewis. You're right. Yeah. It'll be Mar not yeah. Randall Cobb. That's, that's the better reference. Enjoy the view from so, the sideline, kid. Yeah. It's the big dogs on the field. It, it, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. I think the thing with Bowers. The fact that Mercedes Lewis is still in the league. Like, and like I, an effective <laughs> blocking tight end. I thought he retired six years ago. When was Mercedes Lewis? Like, if you had to guess, when was Mercedes Lewis drafted? God, let's see. We're... Uh, Two, 2005. 2006. I was going to say, was, was he like on the Todd Collins Titans? <laughs> like, remember the year the Titans went 13-3 and three and they lost to the like, rookie Joe Flacco in the playoffs? He played for Jacksonville for almost 12 yeah. years. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. It's a yeah, it's unbelievable. Confusing my old tight ends. Um, I think the thing with Bowers is that... But, yeah, Bowers in Cincinnati would be exciting. Unbelievable. He also... I, like the shine in a way came off of him because he was clearly hurt down the end of the season, right? Like he Great point, He wasn't himself yes. at all against Alabama, which I was very grateful for having wagered on Alabama in that game and then wagered on the next game. Didn't work out as well against Michigan. But he wasn't right at all. And so, I mean, he is a, a generational type of tight end prospect. Yeah, if you look at 2022, it's some of the best tight end film you'll ever see. I mean, he dominated the SEC. He was the SEC freshman of the year yeah. Then the ne as a true freshman. Then the next year he won the Mackey, best tight end in the country. And then on, what, like one leg last year won the Mackey again. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what more people want. Everyone's like, oh, he didn't test. Well, he's probably been getting healthy, not yeah. training to test. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and Rotorworld.com. And I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched. Or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay? I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own fantasy football happy hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.